Heifers look good. Uh, howdy guys, welcome back. Uh, this is just going to be a hopefully quick update of what's going on here this week. Um, things are about to get crazy. <laughs> so, yesterday we had two and a half inches of rain. It is a slop hole out here. Um, there's water where water shouldn't be, but it is what it is. Could be, could be bone dry, but, um, so we were supposed to open up cornfields yesterday. Didn't happen because it is pretty muddy. Uh, trip on camera. Um, plan is he is coming tomorrow morning. And we are going to chop the ends off. And as soon as he's done, Dad and Grandpa are going to go ahead and start chopping. This is the tentative plan that kind of, I kind of got, uh, we kind of talked about it. Um, so yeah, they're going to go ahead and chop. I'm going to take off with the hay mower, cut down that 35 acres of peas and oats that we got so tomorrow's Tuesday so we'll chop the ends off and they'll start chopping Wednesday all three of us will go ahead and chop uh, Thursday then we'll switch over and chop that peas and oats um, and we just looked at some of our shorter day beans and they could potentially go this week too if uh, if everything works out. I don't know, we, we might be too busy with this chopping to do them, but um, so yeah, the, the plan is we got, we're on the house side. For those of you that don't know, uh, the side with the dairy barn, the house, the sheds, we got this side, we also got the other side of the road. There's a barn over there uh, that just has steers and then goats. There's two pits across the road and then two pits on this side. Uh, what I mean by pits, uh, some people call them bunkers. Uh, overseas they call them uh, like clamps, silo clamps. Um, these are in ground in a way. Uh, so basically how these work is there's a, I'm standing on some cement here and uh, we'll actually dump, dump the silage on the cement up here and then we'll push it in to the pit and uh, after we get enough in there eventually you can just drive off the edge into the silo into the, well as you're packing silage you can just drive right in. Um, this particular one was actually the first the first pit on the farm. Um, and is actually I believe the first pit in the area around here. Uh, my great grandpa went somewhere and to some dairy show or something and saw one of these well then he come home and put it in or something like that I don't know how that all worked but uh, my grandpa and my brother actually like my, my not my brother my grandpa and his brother actually cemented the walls by hand with a little cement mixer um, and I, I want to say that it might have been resurfaced it probably needs to get done again I don't know what we're gonna do with this pit but but anyways, the, the corn silage from tomorrow is going in this pit. We gotta get in there and clean it out yet a little bit. That'll probably be tomorrow. Unfortunately, there's kind of a low spot in there that fills with water. Um, we just scrape out as much as we can and, and you just gotta do what you can. Um, and then we got this big pit over here. This was put in, probably, this is probably the third pit that was put in. This is a this is a big pit. Um, we'll put 
the peas and oats, most of the peas and oats will get put in the bottom of this pit and then we will cover it, put uh, corn silage over the top. Um, and this pit's the same way, you dump it up on top, push it in, whatnot. Uh, why don't we just back in from the fa from the end and dump it in while well, we could. Um, but this way, I guess, for lack of better explanation, if we were to do that, the end of the pit would have to be, we'd have to be able to drive up it. This way we can go straight out, and basically at the end of the pile it can go straight down. Um, not the best, there is some spoilage, but in the end you get more, there's more feed in it because, you know, instead of going up, say, 45 degrees, we can go down at 75 degrees or, you know. Uh, but yeah, so this will be, this pit will be split in half. That pit will be full of corn silage. There's two across the road. I, I'm not sure what the plan is. Originally, we are going to fill both of them with corn silage. Probably not full, full, because we do have kind of an extra pit around. Uh, there used to be just one pit across the road. That was the, I believe, the second pit. They put that in when they started haylage back probably 30 years ago. Um, and then there's another pit that was put in when I was when I was little um, and we used that when we had dairy and once we sold the dairy we didn't need all the feed so there was one pit that kind of just was used for random miscellaneous uh, we dumped straw in there and I think we had manure in there one year but um, so yeah so we got that, we got the peas and oats. We're just gonna, I I walked in the cornfield just a little bit before. Um, it's, it's getting there, I'm not sure if it's quite, quite ready to go um, to be ideal, but at this point, we gotta get it done. Um, if, we get a couple more days like it was today that stuff's going to dry down in a hurry and then we're going to be in trouble so uh the other thing tomorrow we're supposed to get a load of wet it's it's called wet cake it's a byproduct of uh corn milling i'm not i'm not entirely sure usually we'd go we'd get wet distillers which is a byproduct of ethanol um our local ethanol plant has quit making that. It's all they're doing all dry now, and then a few other random things. So we went to a different mill, which is a uh, they do I think like corn flour and all that. So we're getting it's called wet cake. Um, we're getting that because our high moisture corn is. I think we have about a foot left, so two or three days, dead figures. Um, so we'll be getting that tomorrow, starting to probably feed that, mix mixed in with our high moisture and work with that. Um, we're also talking, the original, we got these two uprights here, we got a 20 by 50 and uh, 18 or 16, 16 by 70. We are talking about filling them both full of high moisture corn, um, but if this wet, cakes, wet cake works out, we might just fill one of them, and then we may go back to filling, putting corn silage in the other one, which I don't, I'm not really crazy about, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned, we'll have some chopping videos. Potentially, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. Uh, Wednesday for sure. Um, Wednesday, Thursday. Tomorrow is going to be a little crazy right away, but uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, I and I uh, hope to see you next time.